Welcome back to our channel GIS resources. Have you ever wondered how rivers, lakes, and streams are connected? And what happens when it rains on a mountain? Well, the answer lies in a fascinating concept, watershed analysis. Now, a quick heads up. This video is not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to generate watersheds in ArcGIS or QGIS. Instead, we'll introduce you to what a watershed is, why it's important, how the analysis works through essential steps, and where it's applied in the real world. So today, let's dive into what is watershed analysis, how it's done using GIS, the key factors that influence it, and how it's used in real-life applications, from farming to flood prevention. Introduction to Watershed Analysis First things first, what exactly is a watershed? A watershed is a natural area of land where all the water that falls in it drains to a common outlet, like a river, lake, or ocean. Watershed analysis, then, is the process of studying how water moves within this area, how it flows, where it collects, and how it affects the surrounding environment. It's like nature's plumbing system. And using GIS, we can now analyze it in ways never possible before. Why is watershed analysis important? Why should we care? because watershed analysis helps solve real-world problems. It helps us predict floods and manage stormwater, plan irrigation and conserve water, reduce soil erosion, design sustainable land use strategies, and monitor environmental changes over time. In short, it's essential for both urban planning and rural development. How is watershed analysis done using GIS? Thanks to GIS, watershed analysis has become faster, smarter, and more accurate. Here's how it works in simple steps. One, start with a DEM, digital elevation model. This 3D model of the Earth's surface helps us understand terrain. Two, fill sinks in DEM. Natural depressions are filled to allow water to flow properly in simulations. Three, flow direction. Determines which way water will flow from each cell on the map. Four, flow accumulation calculates how much water collects at any point. The higher the number, the more runoff it receives. Five, stream network. Stream network can be derived from a flow accumulation raster. Six, stream links, assigning a unique value and associating with flow direction to each section of stream network is a step or procedure to derive stream links. Seven, watershed delineation. And finally, we define the boundaries of each watershed or sub-watershed area. Key factors that influence watersheds. Watersheds are dynamic and influenced by many natural and man-made factors. Let's break them down. Topography. Steep slopes mean faster water flow and more erosion. Soil. Type. Sandy soils absorb water better, while clayey ones cause runoff. Vegetation cover. Trees and plants slow down water, helping recharge groundwater. Climate, rainfall intensity directly impacts flow and accumulation. Land use patterns. Urbanization increases impervious surfaces, leading to more runoff and potential flooding. Understanding these factors helps us make better decisions for sustainable land and water management. Applications of watershed analysis. So where is this analysis used? Watershed analysis is not just a map. It's a decision-making tool that helps governments, NGOs, and scientists act smarter. Few examples. In agriculture, optimize irrigation and control soil erosion. Flood management, identify vulnerable zones before disaster strikes. Urban planning, design drainage systems and green spaces. Water quality monitoring, track pollutants and plan wastewater treatment. Conservation projects protect forests, wetlands, and river ecosystems. If you're exploring GIS resources for the first time, you'll love our video on interpolation, what it is and how it works in GIS. Check it out, the link is in I button and in the description. Now, let's understand why watershed analysis matters. From the smallest creek to the largest river system, it helps us manage water, protect nature, and build safer communities. If you found this video helpful, comment below with your questions or experience like, subscribe and share the video to support our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.